Uh, hey guys, so I'm Matt Zeller. I'm a program manager on our uh, developer enablement team at Microsoft, working specifically with Windows Mixed Reality. Um, just a quick show of hands. How many of you guys saw Lorraine Bardeen's uh, keynote this morning? Awesome. So almost all of you. That's great. Uh, so what we're going to talk about today in the brief 15 minutes that I have with you today, a bit of a recap on mixed reality, why we define it that way, why we've made our investments in mixed reality, and then the second portion of the presentation is why you as a developer or a business um, should consider making your investments in Windows Mixed Reality as a platform. If that sounds like why you're here, then good news. Um, you're here for the right reasons. So um, let's, uh, let's jump right in. What is mixed reality? What do we mean when we talk about mixed reality? Uh, we believe that, uh, and, and this isn't just us, right? We probably all believe um, that there's such a thing as the physical universe that exists. And this is the stuff that's all around us. People, places, and things that are made of atoms. They're physical matter. Um, on the opposite end of the spectrum, imagine a world like Tron, right? Where you have a digital reality. If you could somehow transport our consciousness into something that is completely digital, made of ones and zeros, that would be the opposite end of the spectrum. What is mixed reality? Quite simply, it's any blending of the two. Think of this as a slider, right? It could be more on one end of the spectrum or more on the other end of the spectrum. But mixed reality is just the blending of physical reality and digital or virtual reality. Now, because we're talking about a spectrum, let's look at that spectrum and understand kind of the polar opposites on each side. So on one end, physical reality. On the other end, digital reality. Anytime you add some virtual or digital people, places, and things into your physical reality, we consider that the beginning of the mixed reality spectrum. Similarly, anytime you add physical people, places, and things, you start adding them into your digital reality, that's on the mixed reality spectrum as well. Everything in between, everything that's not inclusive of 100% physical and 100% virtual or digital is this mixed reality continuum on this spectrum. Now, a lot of people ask me and ask us as a team, like, why aren't we calling the devices that we make augmented reality devices, or why aren't we calling them virtual reality devices? We could easily do that, and honestly, I won't fault you if you do that. But the reason that we're thinking about this as a mixed reality spectrum is because we think of traditional AR today kind of occupying just that one end of the spectrum, adding uh, a very light touch of digital people, places, and things to your physical environment. Similarly, virtual reality today is on the other end of that spectrum, where you start adding some understanding of physical elements into a virtual environment. We, however, want to make investments that help you as developers and businesses um, cover as much of the mixed reality spectrum as possible. So today, in our Windows Mixed Reality platform, um, that powers two types of devices that, that we either make today or have made the platform for so that other hardware partners can build devices. You're probably familiar with one of these. We have holographic headsets today. HoloLens is the, the only example of this today that's a Windows Mixed Reality device. It's the world's first completely self-contained holographic computer. Um, self-contained meaning everything is inside the device, right? It doesn't need any external trackers or markers. It doesn't have to be plugged into another computer to draw its compute. It has CPU, it has GPU. It's everything that you need as a self-contained computer. This blends holograms into your real world. And you'll see part of what we say Windows Mixed Reality means is environmental understanding, perception of the physical world around you. So we use the technology inside of HoloLens and our holographic headsets to map the environment, bring an understanding of a 3D map into the device, and then you can place holograms into the world with real world uh, context and scale, and they feel like they're really there. So we're trying to cover a little over half of that kind of mixed reality spectrum as we see it today with HoloLens and our holographic headsets. We started shipping those, by the way, a little over a year ago, about 14 months ago, to developers and businesses. And what they've done with it have been, uh, has just been, frankly, incredible. And then late last year, uh, we, announced that, um, we announced that our hardware partners, some of our hardware partners, were going to build some of the very first Windows Mixed Reality immersive headsets that would help us cover the other half of this spectrum. And these are devices that, have, uh, that are occluded. So unlike HoloLens, they're not bringing the real world into view. They are transporting you into a virtual environment, but bringing a bunch of um, physical understanding along with it. So we want to cover as much of that spectrum as possible. So I have a quick video I'm going to play for you um, that will just help you understand how we see the blending of virtual and, and physical people, places, and things across this mixed reality spectrum. Mixed reality breaks down the barriers between physical and virtual realities. Let's see how we can alter realities across people, places, and objects. 
Here we have a real office, populated with real things. Let's now adjust reality by adding virtual objects to this physical space. Notice how these objects are aware of the real surfaces in the office. Next, let's replace the real person with an avatar. This allows her to be present, even though she is not physically in the room. Now let's adjust the environment itself and make it virtual. Notice how the virtual objects and avatar continue to persist. Finally, let's tie back this entire virtual scene to the original physical room. A subtle boundary grid can reveal real obstacles, making it safer to walk around this virtual environment. Mixed reality unlocks exciting new experiences that merge the physical and the virtual worlds. So why are we excited about making investments in the Windows Mixed Reality platform, a platform that can cover both of these device types and cover as much of the mixed reality spectrum as possible? It's because we want to bring these experiences to as, to as broad a range of people and devices as possible. We want to make it as easy as possible for developers and businesses to invest in a single platform that can cover the whole spectrum. We're excited because right now a lot of people talk about or in their development. They talk about doing AR or VR, or if they're trying to do both, they're talking about developing for one platform for AR or multiple platforms for AR, and then a different set of platforms for VR. We want developers to be excited about the and prospect, that you can make investments and you can learn how to develop from Windows Mixed Reality using familiar tools, one set of tools, one platform, and cover the entire mixed reality range. Because as Alex Kipman, our CVP, likes to point out, this stuff doesn't have to stay separate devices for very long. I think we can all sort of predict a convergence. And what we're trying to do is just get ahead of that convergence and have one set of tools, one platform, that'll cover as much of this experience as possible. So hopefully that's exciting for you guys as it is for us. I won't spend a lot of time on this slide because you're all probably here for the same reason. We all understand that headset growth is, is going to be um, insane over the next few years, and we're all probably here because we understand the opportunity. So I won't spend a lot of time on this, but you can look at the studies online, and you can see analysts talking about the future and the potential. So let's dive a little bit deeper into these two sets of headsets that cover our mixed reality spectrum, because you can develop for both with the same tools and the same platform, as I keep mentioning. I want to keep reinforcing that. That's why it's important. That's why we're making our investments there. So HoloLens, or our holographic headsets, completely untethered, self-contained, CPU, GPU, battery, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything that you need, uh, everything that you would find inside of a computer is inside of this device. You don't have to tether to anything else. Um, advanced sensors, we have not only cameras um, for tracking, for doing head tracking and six degrees of freedom understanding, we also have depth sensors that are mapping your environment constantly and building a mesh of the environment around you so that you can place objects into the world, you can place holographic objects into the world. Transparent lenses allow you to see the world while placing these holograms in for real world context and real world scale. The HPU, this holographic processing unit, is custom silicon we developed so that you as a developer can uh, have your app use as much of the CPU, GPU as possible, and we can offload as much of the environmental understanding as we can to the HPU. And then spatial sound gives you the ability to hear holograms where they are in the real world, just like you see them where they are in the real world. So if you turn your head, you actually hear the sound move behind you. As you get closer to a hologram, the sound gets louder. As you walk away, it gets softer. That's stuff the platform is doing for you. Now we've taken some of that technology and brought it to our immersive headsets. We've created the platform, but you see here we have Acer, Asus, HP, Lenovo, Dell, three glasses, building headsets that leverage this technology. Here you have an occluded headset that is blocking out your view of the real world, but still has understanding of the real world because it uses the same inside out tracking that HoloLens does. We took the same APIs, the same sensors, the same cameras rather, that are doing that um, and put them into these devices. These are going to be particularly compelling because with that inside out tracking, you don't need any external markers. You don't have to drill anything into the walls. You have really easy setup, and it means you can take your device from room to room. You don't have to have a VR room. Every room can be a VR room with our immersive headsets powered by Windows Mixed Reality. And it's going to target a wide range of PCs. And the headsets are starting at $299. We're going to reach, um, and we've announced, by the way, that by the end of the year, this will be on retail shelves. This is a consumer product. Um, of course, businesses should be developing for it as well, just like there's business opportunity within our uh, VR, within VR today. Um, 
But we're going to bring this. This will really hit retail shelves. We're going to bring this to as many people as possible. And then it's going to leverage everything that runs from the Windows Store on your PC today. You can throw that up, just like with HoloLens. You can throw up uh, your mail app, your calendar app. You can put this stuff on the walls and walk around and interact with it, in addition to apps that are specifically developed to take advantage of mixed reality. We want you to help us build awesome things. Um, our partners are already doing this today. Developers have shown us amazing use cases for HoloLens already. Um, there are plenty of, in fact, the best way to probably see this is to go to hololens.com um, or go to our YouTube channel and watch these videos. I can't dive into all the scenarios because I have such limited time, but our partners are doing amazing things. We know there's a lot of potential here. Now with these immersive headsets, what makes us different, and, and quite frankly this applies to our whole Windows uh, mixed reality ecosystem, both HoloLens and these immersive headsets. What sets us apart? Complete freedom of movement. Um, you have six degrees of freedom. You can get up and walk around. If you had a backpack PC, you could plug that into an immersive, or you could plug an immersive headset into that, and you could keep walking, and it would keep track of where you are. Um, effortless setup: uh, no drills, no holes required, nothing in your walls, no external trackers. A single consistent user interface across both device types in our Windows Mixed Reality spectrum. One SDK. Again, as a developer, you have one platform, one set of tools to develop for both device types across Windows Mixed Reality. More choice and then a really easy way to deploy these applications with the Windows Store. So I've already talked about this a little bit. I keep reinforcing this point. But you're going to be able to target, when you build a, a single universal Windows uh, platform application, you can choose to target them towards holographic headsets um, or towards PCs that will understand if an immersive headset is connected. You could actually build one application. We showcased this at Build, in fact, just this year, a couple months ago at our developer event. You can build one application that actually checks to see which kind of device it's running on and then targets a different experience, whether you're in an immersive headset um, or you're inside of HoloLens. Familiar development tools. You're going to use Visual Studio regardless of which device you're developing for. You're going to use, uh, you can develop against DirectX if you want to bring your own engine to the table. You're going to use our Dev Center for publishing and taking in these apps and then deploying them through the Windows Store. And then we've partnered with Unity so far to great success on HoloLens, and they've announced support for Windows Mixed Reality immersive headsets as well. So if you're already developing in Unity, you've got all the skills that you need to develop for both HoloLens um, and our immersive headsets. And by the way, if there's other, we're, we're constantly working on adding other middleware partners. If there's other people that you're working with for the applications that you develop, let us know. We want to hear from you. So let's talk inputs real quick, because you can see how it starts to change just a little bit as you take different considerations by device type. When you want to interact with something, you'll just look at it. That's gaze, and that's across the board. The same set of APIs work the same way across both our headsets. Gesture works on HoloLens, because you've got cameras that are doing hand tracking. And then game pads, mouse, and keyboard work across both. At Build, we announced that since these devices, these, uh, the immersive headsets, um, aren't tracking hand movement, and you wouldn't be able to see your hands anyway, we announced motion controllers for Windows Mixed Reality um, that are going to offer six degrees of freedom um, tracking and positional tracking um, based solely off of the inside out cameras that are inside of the headsets already. So again, you won't need any external markers to take advantage of our motion controllers. And then finally, voice is a method of input for both. I want to play the video for you from Build on Motion Controllers because it's so cool, um, and I think you guys are going to be really excited about the technology.
So our friends at Acer already announced that when their headset hits uh, later this year, they're going to have them packaged with motion controllers for $399. I mean, this is crazy accessible for, uh, for consumers. If you're thinking about porting existing VR applications to our immersive headsets, the most important website that you'll see, whoops, didn't show up. Um, the most important, I'll show you on the following slide, but there's a website, really easy, aka.ms slash MR. We actually have porting guides set up. If you're already in Unity, um, it's super easy to port. You're gonna have opportunities to localize and target a ton of different markets, make money through the Windows Store, and then we help. Um, we can help with uh, marketing opportunities, promotion, distribution, visibility. So here's the website, aka.ms slash MR. If you're a developer or you're a business trying to understand what it's gonna take to get up and running on HoloLens or our immersive headsets or the entire Windows Mixed Reality platform, that's gonna be a great jumping on point. You'll find all of our documentation, you'll find links to our community, our forums where you can ask questions, our engineers actually spend time there answering questions. Um, we hope that you'll engage with us there, ask us questions, we'll get back to you. Um, and then if you're a business and you're looking for help, you want somebody to help you develop applications, uh, we have an agency program as well. So take a picture of this slide, you'll have all the information that you need to get up and running. And today the action you can take is you can go and you can pre-order um, both the Acer and the HP Windows Mixed Reality uh, Dev Editions, um, the immersive headsets, at microsoftstore.com starting at 299, or you can get up and running with HoloLens today. Dev kits um, are available on Microsoft Store as well. So with that, I wanna say thank you. If you wanna engage with us further, like I mentioned, hit us up on the forums, forums.hololens.com, um, or you can tweet at me, at Matt Zeller, and I'll do my best to answer all of your questions. Thank you guys so much for your time at the end of a long day, appreciate it. Thank you.